sunny side design video. I am Michelle. I'm Steph. We're excited today to share with you that we are going to be participating in the one room challenge and Steph's going to tell you a little bit more about yeah, it. We're so excited about this. It's been around for a couple years. I don't know how long, but this is our first time participating in it. And I believe there are about 3,800 rooms that have been completed in this challenge over the years. And so what they do is give you a six week period to start a room and you have that much time to start and finish your project. And it doesn't have to be like a new build like this is. We're, we chose to do our Jack and Jill bath down in our basement. So we are starting with a blank slate. The only thing we've done in there is paint the walls. Um, but you can have rooms that are just like redecorating, giving it a makeover, things like that. But we're so excited to do our bath. And we're over those eight well, we are given eight weeks this time, I think, because of COVID. They're just giving us a couple more weeks to get some product in and things like that. So over those eight weeks, we are going to break down each of the projects we do in this space and show new videos every week so you can see what we're doing, how we're doing it. And I have some fun plans for this space. You're gonna love it. So today for this Jack and Jill bath, we are pretty much starting with a blank slate. The only thing we have done in here is the sheetrock and we have the walls and ceiling primed. So our plan is to of course paint everything. Um, we will have a little niche here next to the toilet which will have um, storage space for some toilet paper and the vanity will go here and then this doorway here separates the other side which will have our tub and shower. And then on this other side, we'll have another vanity and mirror. The flooring in this bathroom will be a two by two white hexagon. And we are going to do a black grout just to really make this shape pop. And for the shower, we are going to do the entire shower in a navy subway tile. And then check out this awesome tile I found at Elysium Tiles. This is going to be the accent tile in the niche. I am so stinking excited. It is going to be gorgeous. The walls behind the vanities will have navy shiplap and the remaining walls will be white. And on this opposite wall, we plan to do about a five foot high board and batten wall so that we can have some hooks in here for the shower and just have a little bit more detail. And we are also going to do a barn door to separate these two spaces. And it will also act as like a little cover to cover the toilet paper. Now, as you follow along over the next eight weeks, as we start to reveal each of these products, you may fall in love with some of them. So we will have links below to each of them so you can shop them for your own home. So of course we have this two inch hexagon tile in white, these gorgeous navy subway tiles, and then this really fun and unique Newport scale beach tile that I really love. Then these vanities we found at Home Depot. They're the Stanhope vanity in reclaimed oak with engineered stone top. I love this coastal fill they have. And when you actually touch the wood, it's a little bit rough to the touch. So it's kind of reminding me of driftwood. It's just a little bit rustic. And the black matte faucet we have is by Glacier, Glacier Bay. And we chose these modern rounded rectangle mirrors in a gold finish. And a modern Odette light fixture by Kira Home is also in a brushed gold finish. And then I love these Turkish towels in a navy and white stripe. And the shower curtain is also inspired by these towels. And they're calling it a farmhouse boho shower curtain. And then last we have some vintage inspired artwork where we have sourced our own artist to come up with these renderings and we will have these available on our website and our Etsy shop for you to get your own digital downloads and print them to your own size. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope you'll follow us over the next eight weeks to see this bathroom transform. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.